Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over gestures. So gestures are just how we interact with our widgets. Um, in the past, we talked about how to interact with some of our widgets. And what we said was, again, you have to have a child and the parent widget is the interactable type of widget. It's a sort of like icon button it was the parent of icon. And so if you want icon to be interactable, you have to make it a child for the icon button. Right. But we also said, what if there are times when there isn't a parent widget where you can make it interactable? So ideally for icons, you would use icon button, right? Because it's a built in property. But sometimes you might have a widget and you're like, oh, that's I want to do something a little different or that's not what I want to do in and of itself. Or it's a custom widget and it's not actually an icon. It's something else. What do you do with that? And we can make our custom gestures um, with the gesture detector. Okay, so just set the stage. Interactable widget. This is going to be a new widget right here. Again, it's stateless because I don't have any memory. So I may might drag it or click on it or something, but it's the widget isn't going to remember anything about it, about the dragging, remembering, or anything like that. All right. And again, that's on purpose just to make it simple to explain and simple to read. Um, I'm going to bring back the picture widget again. So it's going to be the old picture widget that we had in the previous video. I'm not going to change it very much. I think I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller right in the widget in and of itself with the center widget there. Okay. So I'm not going to change it otherwise, and I'm going to make it interactable. So how do I do that? I'm going to extend the stateless widget and put it right inside here, the interactable widget. And then I'm going to return a gesture detector. And the gesture detector is the parent widget, which has all these built-in properties. This isn't even all of them, but I wanted to go over several of them just to get us familiar with it. Now, if you're familiar with web programming, Angular, or even just generic web programming with HTML and um, uh, Dart, then a lot of this will be very familiar. All right, so on double tap, let me start this over. Double tap, it's literally when I tap on this icon, it's a left click twice. I'm double tapping itself, okay? So it's a double tap right here. What is this dragged on drag cancel? So what it, what that basically is if I click on it, so in other words, I'm using my finger because this is a touch screen, right? And I push on it, so I'm left clicking now, I'm pushing on it, but I, ooh, I don't actually want to drag it anywhere. I want to just let it go. And it says da dragged right inside here. I didn't double tap it. I just dragged it. So again, I click on it. I, oh, no, I don't want to do anything. I let it go and it, it prints dragged. Okay. So that's the on drag cancel. Now there is a little bit of give right here. So if I move it around right inside of the picture or the widget in and of itself and I let it go, it's going to say, um, at least I think so. So um, it's not that big of an area itself. So notice um, if I move from here to here, it's not going to fire right here. But if I move from here to here, it's going to fire right there. Okay, so there's a little bit of give, but it's not a lot. I don't know exactly how much that is, but it's not a ton that you can move it around before it says drag cancel will be fired. Okay, it'll fire that uh, function right there. On horizontal drag down, there's a horizontal across and vertical up above. So horizontal drag down is across. Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here? On horizontal drag. Oh, um, that's the problem. It's this is nonsensical. That's I'm not sure why it wasn't giving me an error though. I did some copying and pasting. I <laughs> apparently didn't do a very good job of that. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. I'm not sure why there wasn't an error there. Maybe there was, I just didn't see it. Okay, so horizontal drag. It gives me all these this information in and of itself. Okay, so horizontal drag down. So when um, that's well, drag start is when I move it, it's going to fire the function when I start to move it and I'm moving it around and I stop and I let go of the um, widget and then that's drag end and then drag update. It's one of those things where it keeps going. It keeps changing. So it updates information, updates information, updates information as I'm moving around. Okay. 
Um, what is drag down? Let's comment all of these out. Drag down is, I think drag down actually is when you first start moving it, some details of which direction you're moving it. I think that's what it is, okay? That's what it seems to be. So I won't probably be using that in a very, very um, near future, okay? So on tap, as you probably can guess, I just tap it once, it's there. I tap it twice. I, I, I tap it twice and then it'll be double tap, okay? If I tap it twice here, uh, wait a minute. Tap it twice. Yeah, it'll actually on tap twice, okay? Um, on tap cancel, what is that one? That one is tap. Uh, okay, so you click, you tap on it, but ooh, I don't want to tap on that one. I move my finger without lifting up my finger away from it, and then I let go. Okay, so I um, if, if I tap on it, I keep my finger, but you know how sometimes you put your finger on the widget, and you're like, ooh, I didn't want to do that. You move your finger away, and it'll cancel the tap, okay? Um, let me see here. On tap down, when you push, originally push it down, when you tap up, you let the, the finger off. Pan, and pan. okay, so on pan, there's a bunch of different on pans. So on pan, on pan down, on pan cancel. So what is pan? So pan basically, eh, went too far. Pan, hmm. All right, pan basically says when you get your finger and you click on it or you tap on it and you're moving your finger up, Okay, what are you doing? So if you have like a, a bunch of tiles right here and you're scrolling down there, that's what you're actually doing. You're holding your finger down, moving it across the screen and letting go. And it'll tell you actually the velocity, the speed at which you're actually moving your finger and letting go. All right. So finally, notice on these, notice on these also right inside of here, some of these things have arguments right inside of there all right so they're sending arguments over and that's what we're trying to actually get information from because um if you cancel the drag it's you either cancel it or you don't there's no argument to be said but when you drag down when you start itself you might want to know some information for example on drag down on drag start so i drag it and i start moving here it gives me some information, the, the details in and of itself. So where am I moving? Where am I going with something like this? Where am I grabbing it here? So you might want to get, get that information. You might not, but you might want to. Okay, so that's what it'll, it'll help you do. So that's the gesture detector in a nutshell. It's pretty straightforward. If we know web programming, this should be relatively familiar with how we interact with our pictures, I don't know what we call them on the, the HTML, um, images, um, uh, something, but, but we, Im we, we interact them somehow, um, elements, that's right, we interact with the elements on the HTML pages, and, and that's how we would do it right here. Um, lastly, there was one other thing that I, I did want to mention. Oh yeah, notice I'm grabbing this, I'm moving it, and there's no movement of this particular icon because that would be an animation, okay? And we haven't gone over the, that yet. Hopefully that will be next, uh, next uh, video, okay? Thanks.